Hi, this is Vabhav your EJ, that is your Edu Jockey. In this video, we will be discussing NTSC Stage 2 Math Solutions. Beginning with the first question. So here we are given with 5 students K, L, M, N and O. It is given that they study 6 subjects Physics, Chemistry, Maths, Bio, Civics and Anthropology. Going with the directions, first direction is K and L study physics and chemistry. This means that K studies physics and chemistry, L studies physics and chemistry. M and L study physics and maths. So M studies physics and maths. L also studies physics and maths. Now N and K study bio and chemistry. So bio and chemistry for n and same for k chemistry is already there for k so bio now o and l study anthropology and civics so civics and anthropology for o and same here for l the last direction o and n study chemistry and maths o is studying chemistry and maths and n is studying chemistry and maths so this is the complete conclusion of what we get from the directions. Now solving the questions with the help of this chart. Who among the following students studies maximum number of subjects? The K is going for 3 subjects. The L is starting 5 subjects. The M2, N3 and O4. So the correct answer is L. That is the option 3. Now who among the students studies minimum number of subjects here we can see that m is starting minimum number of two subjects so the answer for this is m who among the students studies only four subjects so o is starting exactly four subjects so the answer to this question is two which of the following pairs study chemistry and civics so let's see who all are studying chemistry so we can see that k is starting chemistry but not civics L is studying chemistry and civics both. The first one is L. M is not studying chemistry, not civics. N is studying chemistry but not civics. And O is studying both chemistry and civics. So next one is O. So let's see here. L and O are there. So the answer is 3. Now let's come to the next question. The question is about few friends who are sitting facing north let me assume this to be our north direction so by default this will be the east direction this west and this south so there are seven friends so let us make seven positions now let's come to directions u is on the immediate right of v so here somewhere is u and it is to the immediate right of v so here will be V. So here somewhere V and used to the immediate right of it. Now T is at an extreme end and has W as its neighbor. So there are two possibilities. Either T is here and W is his neighbor or the T is here and W is his neighbor. The next one says Y is between W and X. So if we go according to this possibility y will be here and y is between w and x so w here y in between them and x out here similarly if we consider this case then y will be out here and x here now we string third from the other end now it's given other end the end has been used out here also so t is at an extreme end and v sitting third from the other end so if t is here then we will be first second and third out here in this case and out here in this case now it's given that u is to the immediate right of v but here x is coming to the immediate right of v so this case is wrong the above one is correct u will be out here and the x is left so s will come here now let's solve the questions who is sitting on the left of x y is there to the left of x so the answer is why.
this guy has marked it correctly where is x sitting now s is to the extreme east look they are facing north this way s is to the extreme east so extreme east let's come to the next question in the following question some numbers are given in sequence found out the numbers from the alternators which will come in place to of question mark to continue this sequence so this is some sequence and a number will follow these numbers following the same sequence now let's decode what the sequence is now 57 54 58 55 the numbers are first decreasing and increasing decreasing and then increasing but if you have a little experience die then you can see that alternate numbers are consecutive here also alternate numbers are consecutive so 55 56 and place of question mark will have the next consecutive number to 56 that is 57 so 57 is our answer the next series 27 31 40 56 apparently there doesn't appear to be any relationship between them so just for the sake of trying let us see what is the difference between the consecutive members of the series 27 and 31 differ by 4 31 and 40 differ by 9 40 and 56 are differing by 16 56 and 81 are differing by 25 and if we see 81 and 117 then they are differing by 36 so it is quite observable if you have a little idea about squares the difference between the consecutive members of the series is 2 square then 3 square 4 square 5 square 6 square so here the difference will be 7 square that is 49 117 plus 49 will give you the answer which is 166 so let's come to our next question 55 168 57 uh -huh. It seems to be a little difficult but again there are two question marks given which gives us a hint that there is a double series going on let's concentrate on the alternate terms 55 57 plus 2 57 to 60 plus 3 60 to 62 plus 2 again 62 to 65 plus 3 Oh, this plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 going on so the first question mark will be plus 2 which will give us 67 there's just one option which gives us 67 for the first question mark which is this so in exam we should have without thinking twice have marked the second option as correct but for the sake of it will also be solving the next series the difference between 168 and 120 here this is a decreasing series so this has decreased by 48 now this is decreasing by 40 this by 32 this by 24 so apparently there isn't any relationship between them but if we go a level higher difference between 48 and 40 is 8 again the difference between 40 and 32 is also 8 and again it's 8 so the next term that is the next difference will be 16 so this number 24 if we gonna subtract 16 from this then we gonna get 8 and 8 is out here also so the second choice was correct question 10 to 18 and this question there is some relation between the first two terms we have to apply the same relation between the next two terms also of which one other term is given to us so we have to find the second term by applying the same relationship ok 7 and 42 here we can see that it is 7 into 6 42 so let's try applying the same thing out here 9 into 6 which gives us 54 but 54 is not an option let's try something else it's 7 into 7 minus 1 which is 6 so let's try and apply it 9 into 9 minus 1 which is 9 8 ja 72 and yeah 72 is in the options so it will be the answer here it's 8 into 4 which gives us 32 
so if you are try applying the same stuff 12 into 4 gives us 48 but again 48 is not in the options so let's apply another logic here it's 8 into 8 by 2 which is 4 if you apply same logic out here 12 into 12 by 2 which is 6 gives us so here 72 must be the answer so the next series is based on alphabets so the D D is the fourth number G is seventh number O is fifteenth number and T is twentieth number now it is two J K U X let's see what are the numbers of this J is the tenth number K the eleventh U the twenty first and X the twenty fourth now four to ten it's plus six now if we go to 7 to 11 plus 4 this is probably decreasing series but let's see more 15 to 21 oh plus 6 again and 20 to 24 that's plus 4 so what we see here is the first D to J it is plus 6 that is there that is J is 6 letters ahead of D and G to K and K is 4 letters ahead of G and it is going on alternatively now let's apply it to F I N P F is the 6th letter if we go 6 ahead the first one is L now what we should be doing in examination is eliminating the options now we have decoded the first letter so by default we should be eliminating the first and the fourth option what now we have to do is just to find out what is the next one and which will give us the answer so I is the 9th letter 9 plus 4 gives us 13 and 13th one is M so L M eliminating this one so the answer is third option now the next question can be solved in a similar way E is the 5th letter I the 9th one K 11th one and R the 18th one so the H is 8th one M is 13th one P is the 16th letter and X is 24th the difference here is of 3 here of 4 here of 5 and here of 6 so we can see that the difference is increasing from 3 to 6 applying the same concept out here G is the 7th letter plus 3 gives us J so J again eliminating the two options now K K is the 11th letter adding 4 to it gives us 15 and the 15th one is O so the next one is O hence the answer is 2 coming to the next question F is the 6th one I the 9th one L 12th one and P the 16th one A is 1st E is 5th I is 9th and N is 14th so 6 to 1 it is minus 5 9 to 5 minus 4 12 to 9 minus 3 and 16 to 14 minus 2 so what is going on here is from minus 5 to minus 2 so i is 9 1 subtracting 5 from it gives us 4 and the fourth one is d eliminating the two options 1 and 2 now k is the 11th letter we subtracted 5 earlier so we're gonna subtract 4 this time 11 minus 4 gives us 7 so the next one is G and the answer is the third one now the next question I L N T is to F H I N again going on the similar lines I is 9 L is 12th N is 14th and T is 20th one F is 6th one H the 8th one I the 9th one and N the 14th one so 9 to 6 minus 3 12 to 8 minus 4 14 to 9 minus 5 in 28 to 14 minus 6 so it is minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and minus 6 writing for KOSV K is the 11th one subtracting 3 from it gives us 8 and the 8th one is H so again eliminating 2 of them now we can see that the second term of both is same so let's not calculate the second one rather go for the third one 
here the term corresponding to the s s is 19th one we gonna subtract minus 5 to it which will give us 14 14th one is n so the fourth option is correct so here are the few problems on figure now here is a square and a circle inside it and this figure what's happening is the inner figure that is the circle is coming up the outer figure goes inside the inner one and gets shaded similarly if you apply same logic out here we're gonna bring the inner one out take the outer one inside now there's a little difference here nothing was shaded but here the inner circle is already shaded so the something about which we can think at first sight is that we're not gonna shade the inner thing out here but if you look into the options there is no such option and the best option that we can see out here is a circle inside which there is a shaded triangle so we gonna mark the first option